Hey guys, uh, Van here from Hunky Jump Model Garage. Um, hadn't been on here in, in a while with a update uh, as far as model work, but um, uh, like a few others out there, uh, I've kind of lost uh, the uh, the drive to um, to build. But uh, I think uh, this job here is going to get me back into the swing of things um, I've been commissioned to build another car uh, or another model uh, the same guy that uh, wanted the uh, the Fonzie bike and everything done uh, he's wanting a, uh, a 70 charger so um, I've got this kit right here this is the Rebel 2 in 1 um, I use the uh, some parts box tires and wheels uh, give him a little bit wider uh, meats in the back and uh, uh, smaller ones up front uh, these rear tires right here uh, let me move it in just a little bit closer where you can see them uh, those rear tires man I really like those those look real good on a muscle car um, I think I may just mold some of those just to where I can have a set, uh, you know, whenever I need them. But uh, this right here is pretty much uh, the stance is going to be. Uh, I got popsicle sticks under there where I can get it adjusted right. Um, I had a hard time finding a set of wheels that, uh, you know, look good and custom and. Uh, that wasn't low profile with a rubber band on top of them. Uh, it just, I don't know. I don't know what the world's coming to when you can't find a decent tire and rim to go on a muscle car without having 20s or 22s or whatever with them little bitty rubber band tires. And, uh, but uh, me and the, the guy, the customer finally decided and agreed on these and the stance and everything way it's going to be um, I've got the doors cut almost through uh, to open them and uh, I even got it cut up around where the wing is right here uh, that was real tedious uh, the trunks almost cut open um, I've got everything it's through in places but uh, it's still connected that way that's the way I do uh, when I cut the doors open. I'll cut everything open around uh, here and there, and then that way I can get my hinges done. And when I get my hinges set in there, the door is perfect. You don't have to do any adjusting, no guesswork or nothing to it. So, uh, but yeah, this one's going to uh, have the Hemi in it, and he's wanting three different versions. Now I'm I'm going to do something different with this one that nobody think. Looks like my battery's fixing to go dead. Uh, I don't think anybody has done this, but uh, what I'm going to do on this one is uh, he's wanting three different versions of engines in this thing. So after I get everything done, I'll show you what I've, how I've done it and everything like that. But uh, um, it's going to be pretty neat. Uh, like I say, I've not seen anybody do this one. Uh, uh, or anything like that uh, other than maybe just accessories or whatever on the outside of the car so uh, if I can get this done this is going to be a pretty good uh, pretty good build so guys uh, I appreciate all my uh, subscribers and uh, appreciate you commenting on my videos uh, uh, comments are welcome but you know uh, you don't, I understand people, you know, they watch the videos and they don't comment or whatever. That don't matter to me. I don't care. Um, but uh, they're appreciated when they are there, but you don't have to. Uh, I know these times that I don't have time to comment on every one that I watch. But um, this is what I'm working on now. And this one right here is going to get me back in the swing of things where I can... Uh, uh, get started back into the, the hobby um, I think I just went at it so strong there for a solid for their 
couple of years there it uh, I about got burnt out and I don't want to do that so all right guys um, you all take it easy out there uh, keep building don't lose your drive like I did uh, and I'm gonna get off here and uh, mold some rear tires so y'all have a good one